It continues to confuse the shit out of me and be weird and bizarre with this week's Bleach chapter. Last week's, I know I'm late. You know, it is what it is. But for starters, one of the big revelations. Nemo is basically a creation and not actually Mayuri's daughter. Which, again, I mean, you would think Mayuri is not going to really be, you know. But I think to a certain degree, as crazy as Mayuri is, as insane as he acts and all that. I think there's some caring there for Nemo. I mean, he lost his fucking arm and everything. And I think somewhere along the way, when he was telling her, you'll die when and where I say, that was his way of showing that he actually cares for her. So whether it's actual creation or his actual daughter, whatever it may be, that is him showcasing that he does care. And he's a psychopath, so for him to somewhat care is interesting. And again, he's talking to talk, but I can see past that bravado. And I mean, seeing Nemo's actions that she'll basically sacrifice herself for Mayuri. Someone is going to fucking die against Pernita or, you know, the fucking left hand of the Soul King of Exodia. No, <laughs> someone's gonna fucking die. Is either gonna be Nemo saving Mayuri, Mayuri saving Nemo, or just Mayuri in general is gonna go down. Someone's fucking dying in this one. There's so much death flags everywhere. It's like, bong, bong, bong. Someone's fucking dying. And if you notice, and it was obviously pointed out in this chapter, Pernita is slowly getting smarter and he's going through some sort of evolution and he says something, I've been Quincy from the start. Now, if it was the Pernita from like five chapters ago or four chapters ago, whatever, when we first started seeing it, I would say this blithering idiot, what the fuck is he talking about? But since he's actually getting smarter, I'm curious if the origins of the Soul King could potentially be that he's Shinigami and Quincy. He was like half and half or whatever, which I know kind of like goes back to that whole Naruto shit or whatever. But like, it could very well be that, that he's basically half and half, but he ultimately, maybe the left side of him is the Quincy side and the right side is the Shinigami. That's why one went to the Quincy, one went to the Shinigami. And I mean, again, this battle is actually... It's not the greatest battle in the world, but it's definitely a struggle. Mayuri's definitely having his work cut out for him, so ultimately setting up for some good shit. And can't stress enough the death flags. Like, yeah, there, there's some someone's gonna go down. I mean, Mayuri losing a fucking arm. It, it, it's getting desperate, and I think if people don't come out and help out Mayuri, which he probably won't let them anyway, it's gonna be Mayuri, if not Nemo saving him. So very brief chapter this week, honestly, 7 out of 10. Some revelations in there, good stuff there. But I'm just curious exactly what metamorphosis Pernita is going in and what was he talking about that he's been Quincy from the start. Could it be that the Soul King was pure Quincy? Was he a half-breed and his left side was Quincy, right side was Shinigami? Hence why Ukitake had the right hand, but, you know, Bach had the left hand. Or could it just be that Pernita's talking out of his ass? Maybe he's slowly turning into the Soul King himself, except maybe not with the mind of the Soul King. So that way, he'll still work for Bach. So yeah, good chapter, honestly. 7 out of 10. Let me know what you guys thought of this, though. Who is going to bite the big one? Will it be my Yuri himself? Will it be Nemo? Will it be one of them dying to sacrifice himself for the other one? And what exactly was Pernita meaning by I've been Quincy from the start? Your world thoughts a chapter, but it's all after this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you do so as well, that'd be amazing. I'm from the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And Bleach continues to be bizarre. Yeah.